Hello everyone. Today we have a very special treat for you. Actually, the turtles have a very special treat. We are gonna watch some box turtles eat their lunch. Now we have two box turtles here. One of them is very speckled. This is an ornate box turtle. They are a Wisconsin native. Uh, they live out in Western Wisconsin where it's a little bit sandier. Uh, they love prairies, they love hills, and they love to dig holes. So why are these box turtles and not tortoises? Well, a couple different reasons. Um, first of all, if you look at the turtle's feet, you can see that they have individual toes. Most tortoises, they have like elephant feet. Their feet are nice and round and they don't have nails that stick out very far. But these guys, because they like to dig holes to find food, uh, they have individual toes and they have claws. Another reason that you will not be seeing today, uh, what makes them turtles, is that they can swim. If you put them in water, they can swim. But tortoises, if you put them in water, they cannot swim. Right now, both of our turtles, they are enjoying apples. Uh, out in the wild, they will eat fruit if they can find it. They will eat greens, but they will also use their claws to find worms and bugs. Those are actually their favorite. But uh, even though they are turtles and they can swim and they do like to go in water, uh, they get most of their water from the food that they eat. So apples and oranges and dandelion greens, uh, they get all of their water from their food. And this turtle right here, uh, she does not have cool speckles on her shell. She's still a very cool turtle. She is a three-toed box turtle. Now, she's probably not going to let us see why she's called a three-toed today, but on her back feet, she only has three claws on each foot. Now, three-toed box turtles, they don't live in Wisconsin. I think they live as far north as Illinois, but they are still very nice box turtles. Now, if you look at the turtles, you can see their mouth. They don't have any teeth inside of their mouth. And instead, just like the bird, they have a beak. And that beak is pretty sharp. It's like a pair of scissors. And they use that to chop up their food. Or sometimes if they take a too big of a bite, they will use their claws and they'll try and break up the food that way. 